Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to Let's Discuss. We're chatting about everything and anything that is really interesting me. And I'm going to try and do like a little like hybrid with this. I've got two things that I want to be talking about, but I don't know if like I can really, I, I like making between like 15 minute and 20 minute long videos. I just, just like, don't know. I just feel like if I've got enough to say, then I feel like I can flow with it a bit better. Otherwise I just feel like I'm repeating myself, which I kind of do a little bit anyway, but I feel like, yeah, I hate repeating myself and going like, uh, what was something else I wanted to say? So I'm gonna hybrid this. First first lot is people that we talk about quite a lot. It's the Duckity Dozen. Um, guys, make sure you subscribe to our TikTok live subscription groups. I share when I post and I share like videos and pictures that I don't share everywhere. Um, and we're also going to be talking about someone else called Yasmin. Someone called Yasmin Switzer, who basically I was watching a YouTuber headlines on YouTube Mum Weekly Rundown. I do watch them pretty much every single week because I love hearing like about all of the different people that I've never even heard about. I'm just like, oh, like, you know, fascinating. So I've always watched them. Um, so I was watching that and a story of hers massively stood out to me and it was about this girl who has a YouTube channel, it's quite a big YouTube channel. In this video, Yasmin and her little girl, I do believe, she's made a video which is titled, She Finally Asked About Her Dad. And in this video, she's basically sitting her child down and she's like, and it's meant to be quite a private and personal matter and she's deciding to put up a camera and record this really private intimate conversation she's trying to have with her young child i don't know anything about this lady so i felt a certain type of way to be able to comment on it because i have experience with having an absent dad when i was younger and having like stepdads and all of that and i kind of felt i felt bad for this little girl um even though she won't actually understand what's happening it's extremely exploitative and it felt extremely icky basically she's sitting her little girl down we're just curious as to how we like are choosing to handle telling her about it um which is something that i just think is worth sharing I tried to explain to her the whole story about her dad but like in a way that she'll understand and i met logan your real daddy that raises you <laughs> <laughs> we were ready and we and, stuff. and i just thought it was just it was just too much like it was just meant to be a private thing and the little girl was a bit confused anyway she's a vet I'm not, I'm not quite sure how old this little girl is but she looks younger than my eldest and my eldest is five and she looks younger than that so at a guess i'd say four something like that i'm really not sure so we're going to be talking about that so the first lot of people i will be talking about is the duckety dozen but i will leave a little um i will like chapter this so that you can just go on go on about your day and if you're not interested in the duckety dozen go to the jasmine the jasmine the yasmin and if you're not interested in yasmin just keep on watching for this little bit so i actually caught up with alicia's live yesterday first coffee i was on the sofa and i just thought why not i was actually um i was on the sofa eating some cereal and i just thought you know what i'll just give it a little watch and i mean it was dull i mean all of her lives i find dull but just because i find them dull doesn't mean you guys should i've never really understood the hype around it when she makes like her snackety boards i don't know anyway but people seem to love it and the thing that the thing that i wanted to talk about was some of the comments in the live chat are so disturbing towards her kids and some of her commenters do in fact point it out so it's not just me screaming into like a wall or like also me just like screaming into like an empty room or screaming into a pillow what do you say anything about that it's not me making it up like some of her commenters as i will show you and read you some of the comments and alicia reads these comments because half the time she isn't really reading the chat but then because she's making a board but then when she's not making the board she's then reading the chat and some of these people repetitively just like repost these really inappropriate questions and then she'll answer the question before or after at no point does she ever go guys like that isn't okay to say or guys let's not say stuff like that because why would anyone say that anyway i'm going to read you some of these some of the thing is i've never actually sat through apart from that quesadilla one which i saw it when it first went out um i've never like sat through one of her lives the whole way and even this one i was dipping in and out because she mostly just talks about her kids she's never really talking about what her or her husband are doing during the day i mean her husband's at work but she's never really 
it's all just very to do with oh and this child doing this and that child doing that and this child it's like she doesn't have anything else to talk about other than her children it's like she doesn't have her own personality or like her own life outside of the kids which is understandable because she's got 12 of well, tw yeah understandable because she's got 12 of them but she doesn't really bring anything f to the table in terms of like what she's doing if that makes any sense so i'm gonna read you through some of these questions because they just didn't sit right with me so one person said is one single bearing in mind i'm pretty sure this child is 12 it's gross someone saying can i see zoe who is a man by the looks of things saying can i see zoe someone literally in capital letters who kept on spamming does harley want to have a little brother or sister and there's another one that says let me see harley when it was just constantly all the time one says uh, one of her children is my crush i want him so bad so there was just lots of comments just asking where each of the kids were people were just commenting saying that, that they want to date or do stuff to one of their kids and multiple of their kids asking if so-and-so was single and they're like 12 asking where the youngest toddler is and all of this kind of stuff and it's just so like it's so weird one commenter said so-and-so is 12 he doesn't need to be dating anyone especially off youtube stop being creeps which is so true and then another comment if you go back on that live on just the general comments from the next day people were going like, has anyone caught any of these live comments? They're so inappropriate. And it's like, yeah, it is. The thing is, is that Alicia at the end says, oh, you guys need to join our TikTok Discord where we show you photos and videos from the day that, that you're not aware of and all this kind of stuff. Our TikTok live subscription group, because then you become a part of our Discord group and we're a very nice group over there. And plus I share when I post and I share like videos and pictures that I don't share everywhere, just like random things throughout our day. And it's like inviting these weird people to like go and look at those children even more. The fact that there are people saying, I want to see your toddler should just be ringing alarm bells for her, but it doesn't and it just makes no sense. There was that TikTok that I've now seen where it was Mum Uncharted basically saying, like showing up, I'll just play it to you right now. So a follower sent me this and it's just a total, uh, what the fuck? Can you do a house video and where all your kids sleep? The creator says, yes. What? Only that, but to then advertise the fact that, oh, we've got a place where we go and show extra photos and videos. When you have people in your chat talking about your children like that, it just is so confusing and it's not just her that does it loads of other family channels do it as well and they don't see an issue with it not only the fact that you can easily find her house as she says her house is easily is readily available to find online she even says that um no our address is on google so <laughs> i've given up caring so why am i even surprised I shouldn't really be very surprised, but either way, yeah, if you catch any of her lives, have a look in the comments because there are some weird people asking to see her kids, asking if they're single, saying that they fancy them and things. And it's like, this is so inappropriate. Like, this is so inappropriate. Can we please stop? Like, Jesus take the wheel. Can we please just stop with this one? Okay, so the next bit we're gonna be talking about is Yasmin, Yasmin's, I'm trying to pronounce her name right. Yasmin Switzer. Okay, so she basically, I'm not going to show you the clips where she actually has her little girl there. Like I say, I literally had never come across her before, but this story massively stood out to me because I just thought, like, how dare you? How dare you take this really, this really innocent, like, this is such an exploitative thing to do. I grew up and I'm not going to, like, go into detail because that would be disrespecting my dad and just disrespecting that period of my life I feel but what I will say is I grew up with an absent dad and I had um and I struggled massively with coming to terms with it from a very early age I was very very angry um it caused me a lot of trauma because it was a very difficult situation for me to deal with and then you have Yasmin who 
even though her child seems seemingly fine with it, you don't know how they're going to deal with that when they get older and they know that they have a mum that basically decided to document a really important part that you should be not only talking to your mum in private about but also being able to process and deal with those things to yourself like by yourself and you need to give yourself time and things and she's just so little I mean she was trying to talk to her and the little girl obviously didn't really understand this conversation you could tell because then her little girl started making like fire engine noises and things which is what my kids would do if they're that age they just don't understand and I can't help but feel like this was just content this was just this was purely put out just so she could get a video it was titled she finally asked about her dad and it's received 129k views right now and her other videos don't even get to 100k and, and when i went onto her youtube channel i noticed that all of the ones that really like really got the hits were that one and then there was one saying update on my baby brother why he was sent to foster care once again she is talking about other people's um other people's private beings well i don't know how like i said i know nothing about this person i'm just going off of what i see and i'd happily receive comments telling me about this person but i just felt that i saw that part of the video and i just that just told me all i needed to know and i'm only going to comment on that i'm not going to comment on anything else about it so like I said, the other one that got 232k was her talking about someone else's experience. There was another one two months ago, taking in my little sister again. Um, there was fighting for my baby brother's life, what's really been going on. And it's all of these really exploitative things where she's obviously taking someone that's younger than her because it all says baby or little, like so supposedly they're a lot younger than her. I don't know how old this lady is. Um, she's taking their own experiences and even her daughters to a certain extent. And then she's then just pushing it out and making content off of it. And these videos get a lot of views because it's, it's what intrigues people. And it's so wrong. This is not stuff that you should be filming and monetizing off of. If you think about it, it's weird. Like you have loads of periods in your life where you just go, oh, that was horrible. Like that was horrible. And then when you then tell people these stories, they go like, oh, wow. And they, but they're interested in it because obviously it's a crazy story and whatever, but you wouldn't then think to document it or pull out your camera or anything like that. And what I was saying about the she finally asked about her dad video it was that it was obviously she set up the camera, it was all very like leading questions. She didn't really understand what was being asked. And I feel like I can say that with, at least to me, she didn't. I feel like I can say that and be sure of myself about it purely because I have two kids and my eldest is pretty sure older than her. I mean, she might blow me away and say she's like six, but she doesn't look six to me. She looks younger by the way that she talks and things. I think she's younger than um, my eldest. Um, they wouldn't, even my eldest wouldn't necessarily understand a conversation like that. And I definitely, I, when I was growing up, I was very much aware of the fact that um, like my dad was absent and things. And like I say, it caused me a great deal of grief, especially as I got older. We're on very good terms now, but it took up until my mid 20s for that to even be a thing and what would have made it a lot worse was having someone pull out a camera i just can't imagine it and i just think <clears throat> these are the types of things that give family channels really a really really bad rep if you know what i mean this is the kind of stuff which just feels icky and feels gross and feels exploitative and it just shouldn't be discussed it just shouldn't be a talking point on your YouTube channel. Um, yeah, I was not impressed with that whatsoever. It's because it sounded like that's like what she was worried about when she was asking like, what happens? Like, why do people break up? Like, what does that mean? She was like, so sometimes people just stop loving each other. And I was like, yeah, that's right. She said, so kind of like how my other dad broke up with me. Dad that raises you. And this is your dad that made you. But remember, he wasn't ready to be a dad. She off to a wedding or the evening of a wedding this evening. Um, just got my nail put back on and yeah i need to like source out what i'm wearing because i still have zero idea but we're staying in a hotel so that's like super exciting basically date night but at a wedding it's gonna be so much fun anyway so i'm super pumped about that but i hope you're gonna have an amazing weekend as well and i will catch up with you guys in the next video